Hey, hey, happy Friday, everybody. Hope everyone's doing well. Excited to be back for another Elden Ring stream. Had a lot of fun doing some Hunt Showdown yesterday. Thanks for everyone who stopped by. Uh, the Belden Meyer. Hey, thank you so much for the follow. Um, yeah, uh, today getting back into it. Oh, yeah, that's right. We were doing some uh, some dueling. Uh, <laughs> maybe we were doing dueling is kind of a generous term. I was learning. I was learning a lot about PvP. Uh, super excited. Actually, I might do some of that just to start off. Hey, what's up, Ash Broccoli? Thanks for coming by. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Happy Friday. How's your day going? We're back with uh, some more Elden Ring today. Ooh, how are the games going? Yeah, I'm doing well, thanks. Uh, been a great day. We finally got some rain out here in uh, Seattle, so the wildfires are calming down and the smoke is going away. Uh, just got back from a walk with my dog and yeah, worked out this morning. Did a little bit of uh, work before stream, so great, great Friday, great Friday. Cannot complain. Hello, Melania's X. Oh, that's rough, man. Uh, looks like he just wants to hop straight into it. Oak. I try to be. Try to be productive. Uh, that's the hope. Oh, he's already done some uh, splash damage on us. Let's uh, see if we can land one of these. He gets us with that lance. Oh, I tried to delay it. Ooh, there it is. Okay, it seems like we can get him on the timing there. Oh, packet loss. Uh oh. You got a knife kill? Oh, nice. Right on. I've never played CSGO, but uh, I've tried uh, Valorant, which has some similar mechanics. Never got a knife kill. Oh, we had some packet loss there, but GG's. Good fight, Millennia's X. Oh, and he gave us a tea bag. Thank you, sir, for the tea. Dude, that's savage. A knife kill? How did the uh, rest of the hunt uh, showdown event go for you? Did you get all the uh, quests and unlocks? Uh, let's see. A couple things we want to change. Let's see if we ever do some quick swapping. <laughs> oh, awesome. Okay, cool. I was like, oh, you had me on an emotional roller coaster there for a second. <laughs> uh, Saga, we tried to. No, oh, I was going to say, I think Saga was the last person we tried to summon before our game crashed and we had to switch to hunt. Yeah. Um, equals clown. Uh, you seem like a salty player. Bloody Mary. Let's go for it. Oh, that's awesome. I've unlocked the the new hunter, but I haven't played them yet.
And I uh, I checked out the DLC with the Reaper skin. Very cool. Where did all the summon signs go, eh? Yeah, it looks really good. I feel like Hunt does a good job of uh, oof, double spears. I uh, will try a scythe. I feel like Hunt does a really good job with their DLC. I know everyone's itching for a new map or a new boss. I we'll get it eventually, but I, I really like where the game's at right now. Yeah, great design team. Oh, I love the synchronized haze. Uh, do we want to do buffs, or we're we just gonna hop into it? We're just gonna hop into it. All right. Ow! Rude. How's uh CS go? Hmm. I feel like we both had some misses there. Let's practice our quick swapping. Hey, that's awesome. I mean, not that, you know, being the top fragger is pretty, pretty good. Hopefully the team wins will come. Are you playing with uh, a crew of people that you uh, you know or uh, randos? Oh, we got you with the pokey poke. Uh, we might switch to two handing this. <sighs> Batting me out of the sky. Random casual, nice. You gotta tell your team to get on your level. Oh, I thought we had that. Oh, he got me with the follow-up. I kind of walked into it. <laughs> GG's, good fight. You're just too good. You're just too good. Tell him to take notes. Watch the VOD. Yeah, the PvP is really great in this game. I'm a bit of a potato. Um... But I really like learning and uh, getting better at it. So, you know, we'll give it a couple streams. Maybe we'll have a winning record by the end of it. I feel like with the scythe, I, I maybe should have swapped to a little bit of the pokey poke. I really want another... Spear. All right, let's do another one. Dueling's really fun. Um, and then the invasions are really nice as well. And uh, invading is really fun because, you know, usually they've got uh, a summon or, you know, it's sort of you usually in a, a two on one or even a three on one scenario. It's a little bit more chaotic. Oh, 
that's what the sun sign. We're probably gonna level up our character night. Yeah, about 19 more times. So we'll see where we kind of land with stats and what our final build looks like. Around 125 is where we see a lot of a lot of people dueling. Ooh. Hello. Sweet, we're hopping into it. Ooh, okay. I like the weapon art there. Okay, practice our quick swaps. That was not quick at all. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, out of the air interrupted our attacks. I delayed it and I shouldn't have. I should have just gone straight into it. Wanted that roll so bad. Missed our jump. Well, folks, might not get very far. Crossing. How far are you in your uh, world? <laughs> like we're just goofing around. Jeez. <laughs> okay, right on, right on. Do you have like a, a theme you're going for? For decorating? I feel like Animal Crossing is one of those games where you, you can get quite lost. <laughs> It just can suck away so much time, but it is so fun. Yeah, same. I'm a collector. <laughs> Every time I'm like, yeah, I'll do like 30 minutes. And then you're like, it's been two hours. All right, so we set the tree on fire. Uh, did a little bit of PvP. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I guess we can check in. We haven't really checked in with any of the NPCs, so we can see if there's been any changes to stories. Go back to the round table, hold it, start. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> That's like peak uh, pandemic for me when the game came out. You burned the earth tree, didn't you? Then the round table is soon to follow. Nah, no need to fret about that. 
the round table hold served to put a tarnished upon the throne of Elden Lord. And if the Erd tree needed to burn for that to happen, then the round table must go as well. This guy is surprisingly cool with it. Ah, you've already heard. Indeed, it seemed the whelp harbored suspicions, so I had no further use for her. Honestly, what a man to do. A determined plebeian is more wicked than an omen horn, quite frankly. I suspect that's just what the Queen wants. A dose of ambition to incite the tarnished. There are four more demigods yet to be located. Yeah, who do we still have? Of the tree. Oh, right. Lloyd, his twin, Melania, the undefeated swordswoman. Luna Princess Rani, daughter to Renala. Well, and we know where she is. The one only known as the Lord of Blood. Rani is said to have cast aside her great rune. So here at the hold, we seek the whereabouts of the remaining three shard bearers. If you should learn anything of these matters, I'll trade your findings for a hidden treasure or a long lost right. No Excuse me. <clears throat> Still getting some ash out of my throat. Such, I hope we are compelled to work together. I'm not going to give you the potion, mostly because I hate you. I don't know if uh, Gideon deserves the shade that we've been throwing at him, but he's uh, not exactly my favorite NPC. Uh, let's see here. I guess we can keep that as our Claw Talisman. Uh, oh, that's right. D died. We don't really know how he died. He just kind of died. He was uh, infected with death root. We found his body right here. Uh, hmm. I wonder if we missed something for his quest line. Or if we just didn't kill enough monsters? I don't know. He, he's just died, though. Kind of felt a little anticlimactic. Please. It's pathetic, I know, but I, I need to think. So you know already, do you? Right. It's true. My father cast me out for indulging my emotions. Forgetting the mission. Punishment for offing his pawns. Father. Mother. Lord Gideon has offered me guidance all my life. I would have done anything for him. To place him on the throne of Elden Lord. And yet I... Though it was not my intent. I betrayed him. Your dad sucks. And I... Can no longer trust him father. To think he'd order his men to enact such tragedy. Where is the justice he purports in that? He once told me that if he became Elden Lord, he would never allow the downtrodden to be cheated ever again. Was he simply lying to me? Possibly. I feel like she's crushed by Gideon and we've known this whole time. He's pretty awful. 400 ping? No. Oh my god. No. no. Are you playing in uh, always given me his guidance. EU servers? And now, I've lost it. I can't imagine playing CSGO with 400 ping. <laughs> uh, ooh, sure. Is that ash? I can smell the ancient storm in it. My thanks. I'll gladly take it. I hope we're helping her. She's the only NPC that I really like. I don't feel the presence of spirits. Still. Oh, I'm sorry to hear it. It reminds me of my first hawk. Thank you. Now that's more to, uh, more time on uh, Animal Crossing, so you know, not really a loss. I can smell the ancient storm. It reminds me of my first. Okay. 
Okay, I hope we helped you, because you're one of the only NPCs still alive and cool. <laughs> uh, no one's working the kitchen. Okay. And we've already given Ronnie the Finger Slayer uh, sword. Or the Two Finger Slayer. Eeg's not going to have anything to say. I see. You're here. <laughs> Regardless, I'll try and talk him right. I know he was given this great to craft a weapon which could slay a god. So I can't have fearsome curse put on him by Queen Malika. And if that's the case... Yeah, Hugh seems like a tragic character. I, I like him a lot too, and... Shoot, I'm forgetting her name. I see. Roderica. They're cool too. But... Um, yeah, the NPC we were talking to before is like one of the few NPCs who's an actual badass. You can summon her a couple times to help you fight some bosses early on in the game and throughout. Uh, and she actually seems like she's trying to do the right thing, which I can't say for most of the people we encounter. Hey, what's up, all? It's Happy Friday, man. Thanks for coming by. We're just talking about favorite NPCs. So far in Elden Ring. Happy Friday, indeed. Yeah, are you partial to any of the NPCs? I, I I always get suckered by a couple. Like, first playthrough, I thought Blythe was awesome. And I was like, okay, I can get on Team Ronnie. This seems like a legit alternative. Oh, is this guy dead? Yo, I didn't even know we could... I didn't even know these were options. The spirit of jar right? Spirit of a man who wished to become the innards of a living jar? You into those big hairy feet? <laughs> so you're a big fan of uh, Lord of the Rings then, I take it. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, you know, you, not Morgat, but Morgat's feet for sure. That could be a favorite NPC. <laughs> they definitely get a, a good amount of screen time. Wait, who's, uh, what other feet do we see in this game? Also, we're going to go for the guy who wants to be a jar. I feel like we have to get that in our repertoire here. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right, yeah. It's like a Tarantino thing, too. Dude, Melania's armor is one of the fa is 
one of my favorites, I think, in the whole game. I also like how Blythe is a half, he's like a werewolf. And so Rinaldi, or um, Ronnie always has wolves outside of her tower. Cool detail. So this is dead and she's gone. Okay. So this is dead. We could check on the war counselor. Hello, EG. Lady Rani's war counselor, and moreover, her childhood warden, I express my deepest gratitude. You, and only you, were Lady Rani's true champion. My purpose is nearing Sorry. its end. I've served Lady Rani for as long as I can remember. It has been a long and wondrous journey. Now Lady Rani is in I really like the voice actor for EG. I pray that you serve her well and to the very end. Lady Rani has along the dark path of Empyrean from Rena's rise, as she calls it. Now Lady Rani is in Oh no. I I'm sorry, Ash. Serve her well and to the very end. How expensive is it? I feel like, oof, that's tough. I feel like it's worth moving stuff around, but that's hard. I'm sorry. I forgot that there's a cost of moving stuff around in the island. It's expensive enough that I'm not bothered. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I mean, hey, new playthrough. You have a plan for, you know, what you want to do. Uh, okay. Man, there are so many freaking NPCs that we have to keep checking in on. Checked in on the round table. Ronnie. Who else we got? Oh, gold mask. Oh, in Fia. Oh. oh, speaking of feet. Yeah, you like my feet? The curled toes really do it. The bull goat. <laughs> Lights. Once I saw the uh, artwork and had them equipped, I was like, yeah, those are going to be part of the build no matter what. Forgot about Thea. Oh, shit. I don't even know where she is. I feel you, Ash, on uh, the websites. I am very guilty of using those. I, I got really into uh, Stardew Valley. Oof. Especially during the pandemic. It's a lot easier to move uh, 
buildings around than in, uh, compared to Animal Crossing, but I loved websites where you could just plan out your entire farm. Got way too into it. Stardew Valley is the best. Okay, excuse me, gentlemen. Gotta go talk to Golden Mask. Or I think it's actually just Golden Mask. Oh man, I'm trying to remember where we last talked to Fia. Oh, that's right. We, I don't know why I'm trying to ride a horse. We can't do it here. Uh, It might have been... Boy, it might have been a while ago. I think it was... Before we did the... Uh, Ray of Lucardia Academy. Oh, shoot. Okay. Looks like this quest is ended. Or at least Corrin's dead. Interesting. Okay. That's okay. I know what we have to do for Corrin Starfist. And we didn't have... Uh, the faith in our build to solve the quote unquote mystery. I think he dies if you burn the Ur tree before you. Uh, God, where's the incantation? Which one is it? Is it Order of Healing? Hmm. Might be actually we, we might not even have the incantation. Um, he dies if you burn the tree and do not reveal the Queen Malika statue. That's also a statue of um, oh God, not Radon, King Consort guy. What's his name? Radagon, yeah. There's a statue of Radagon, and if you do, I think it's, shoot, I don't have the uh, incantation on this build, but if you cast uh, the right incantation in front of his statue, it changes to a statue of America. Law of, Co yes, that's right, that's right. Thank you. Uh, we don't need to go this way. So, shoot. And I think that also means we don't have the golden mask ending. Which is fine, because we've already we've embraced the chaos. You're going to restart? Okay. Good luck, Ash. You know what? That'll be fun. Restarting. I feel like early game is really fun. Uh, and now I'm trying to remember if there's anyone else out here that we need to talk to. Oh, we could check in on uh, Sorcerer Selen. It's been a long time. It's been a long time since we've talked to her. My apprentice. Shall we commence the lesson? 
Uh, how do we continue her? Uh... Maybe we just give her scrolls. A scroll takes me back to my academy days very well hmm, this is sorcery with which i'm not entirely unfamiliar i'll be sure to incorporate it into one of your lessons never lose that inquisitive spirit my apprentice oh, and we'll give you one more scroll? takes me back to my academy days very well this is sorcery with which I'm not entirely unfamiliar. I'll be sure to incorporate it into one of your lessons. Never lose that inquisitive spirit, my apprentice. Uh, and again, we're not a mage build, but we can go ahead and buy these. Just the completionist in me. Ah, oh, I have enough. for learning is impressive you make me proud to have grown little legs so readily <laughs> mm. must have a fabulous teacher Anything you else? wish to come very well Our yeah tell us about glinstone powers embedded in glinstone but what is the nature of such power? Glinstone is the amber of the cosmos. Golden amber contains the remnants of ancient life and houses its vitality, while glinstone contains residual life and thus the vitality of the stars. It should not be forgotten that glinstone sorcery is the study of the stars and the life therein. A fact lost on most sorcerers these days. Okay. And then I think Blythe has been imprisoned. So we gotta go free him. Forty thousand bells? Oh my god. <laughs> Are you sure? I mean you could always come back, you know? If you try a new game and you're not liking it, you can always come back to the old one. Do I have the snap? I don't have it readily available. Where are you, buddy? Got you, buddy. My thanks, friend. I'm going to see Mistress Rani now. I don't know what came over old E.G., but even if the odds are slim, I need to check the mistress is safe. Now, if Rani can finally set in motion the fight against her fate she's dreamt of for so long. I'm going to see Mistress... I don't know what came over, but even if the odds are slim... Oh, oh man. Oh, I'm sorry, Ash. That's tough. Ugh. It's so silly that you only are allowed one island for Switch. But you know what? You know the game. You'll get back to where you were in no time. I believe. Uh, okay, I'm just kind of like riding around as I'm thinking about where to go next. Yeah, of course. Got this. Think of it as a prestige run. 
You're resetting your account. Oh, man. Shoot. Hey, man. We oh, my God. We just got dismounted by a peon. Yeah, exactly. Working for a, a prestige badge. Man, where did Fia go? Um, last time we spoke to her was... On the cliffs. Man, even doing a playthrough... Well, she's moved on. That's not surprising. Even doing a uh, a playthrough where I was like, okay, I'm telling myself I'm going to check in with NPCs. Going to do a better job. Back to learn another. Wonderful. Still having people die or disappear left and right. Uh, about some. You've taken an apprenticeship with Salon. Well, that is something. Salon was well known. The most promising sorceress in the history of the Academy. I followed her at school. But there may as well have been an ocean between us. But Salon was expelled from the Academy. Accused of unthinkable treatment of certain sorcerers. Under the name of the Graven Witch. I oh. still don't believe the accusations. The illustrious Salon would never do such things. Our mentor is apparently evil. What else is new? Uh, what sorceries do you have? Ah, uh, he's got the little pebble, huh? Uh, we'll give him a key. So you found yourself that glintstone key, but I certainly can't take it from you. That key belongs to you. By right, you should use it for yourself. It's true. I wish to return to my place of study. But that's no excuse to impose upon others. Oh, is this why Bluntstones always finish last? <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, but seriously, about the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Carry on with your journey. Don't bother holding yourself up. Head to the Academy. Carry on with your journey. Don't bother holding your... We've already... All right, you know what? I tried. Um, was that a finger crow? Yeah. Now that we've uh, freed Blythe, I'm sure EG has something new to say. And then we'll keep exploring uh, the ice tundra in the north, land of the giants. something you should know the two fingers gave Blythe to Lady Rani as a faithful follower her very shadow incapable of treachery mm -hmm. but if Lady Rani as an Imperium resists being an instrument of the two fingers the shadow will go mad transforming from a follower into a horrid curse but such is his destiny in such matters, Blythe's own thoughts hold no weight. It Poor guy. pains me so. But he must be neutralized. Lady Rani, along the now Lady, I pray that you. And that's everything. Okay. Cool. We're on a journey north again. Okay, 
Uh, let's see here. There are a couple of areas we need to get to explore. Okay, so our B size quivering we got here. Pretty sure those things don't die. Or if they do, they rematerialize. Oh yeah, there's the bird that was absolutely messing us up. Let's go find the bird. Hello, bird. <laughs> Did I mention it was messing us up? I actually forgot to equip. It's gonna get a couple of hits on us, that's fine. Oh, for goodness sakes. The Mimic makes such a big difference. Oh, oh no. Oh, that's so bittersweet. Oh, such time. But you're making room now for new memories. Sure. 60. Oh, whoa. I underestimated how much damage that was going to do. <laughs> I'm glad, glad I could be here. It's hard to say goodbye to a world that you've put so much time into. I absolutely feel that. Keep our health up. I uh, play a lot of Minecraft, uh, although I haven't lately. But every time there's like a new update, I feel that way in starting a new world. Like just having to say goodbye to all your builds and everything that you've worked on. It's hard. I do like a little little tour, a little goodbye tour of everything. Mound down. But you know, that's part of the appeal of a Souls game, because uh you know, you die all the time, so <laughs> you can't get too attached. Oh, I totally whiffed.
was gonna say there's that attack again. What are you gonna name your new island? Oh! We catch another hit right on the chest. Barely too slow at that dodge there. Oh, that's gonna be. A... Yep. I was like, that's gonna be a big. Oh, for goodness sakes. Going down, bird. again. Ugh. Can't even think about it. What was, uh, what was the name of your last world? If you don't mind me asking. As I catch another bird attack. I gotta stop looking at chat for a second. Hang on. <laughs> Just walking into attacks. Alright, come here, buddy. I think one, one more and he should stagger? There it is. It's called Frogs. <laughs> Boggers is a good name. Yeah. Got too greedy there, even though I knew it was coming. <laughs> He's just absolutely feasting on us. Oh. oh, bad time to heal. Yep. Oh, I'm still up. <laughs> I'd given up. I don't think this has regen on it, but... Ah, just a hair too slow. There we go. Okay, we can outrun these. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Not that we're really going to be able to heal much at this point, but. Oh, good whiff. Tactical. Oh, here we go. Just get a close up on the carnage here. That's okay, buddy. I'll come back next time. <laughs> Fuck you, bird. Coming for you.
up until we died, I think we were doing, you know, pretty well. <laughs> oh, man. All right, come here. Get some chicken nuggets. Oh, bless you, Mimic. Oh, your head is stuck in a... Oh, we got... Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh. <laughs> Clipped through. Still worked out in the end. Sometimes half of, uh... Souls games are fighting... The camera. Yeah. Fighting the camera. Popped our bubble tier. It's okay. Oh, <laughs> I looked away. I mean, we've been bashed into the snow. Uh, yeah, those are great names. I like uh, Cerulean City, Lavender Town, out uh, out here uh, in Seattle where I live. There's actually uh, I go lavender picking every uh, summer. Go out to a place called Whidbey Island. Beautiful island, and there are tons of lavender farms out there. So, definitely a big fan of Lavender City as a name. Aren't these called the. Uh... I was going to say, Cerulean Tears. Ooh, all that for a spear. Yeah, Lavender's... Uh, yeah, I love almost all things Lavender. Lavender uh, ice cream, pretty good. It's like a gelato or sorbet. It's pretty good. And the uh, house that I grew up in, uh, we used to have jasmine on one side and uh, lavender on the other. So depending on the time of day, when you had the windows open, you'd smell jasmine or lavender coming into the home. So very nostalgic. Kind of uh, incredible how certain smells become very nostalgic and powerful for you. Bikini bot. <laughs> Actually, that's a great, yeah. Lunchbub. It's kind of a tropical island, too, so yeah, the name fits. I like it. Uh, oh right, Stargazer's Ruins. We had the talking jellyfish. The... I don't... I doubt anything has changed. Yeah, she's still a talking jellyfish. Okay. That sounded very judgmental. Nothing against talking jellies, but... Sorry about that. Yeah, lavender is so good.
That's actually one of the cool things about going lavender picking is uh, usually on top of just getting, you know, fresh lavender. Uh, a lot of the farms will sell like, you know, pure lavender extracts or oils or soaps or, you know, whatever, all kinds of stuff. So it's fun to go, go with a group of friends. And then hit up a brewery after. Very good time. Let's see. What we. Man, I'm picking my brain here trying to remember where to go. Oh, you know what? There's actually quite a bit underground that we've yet to explore. <laughs> no worries. Hey, thanks so much for coming by. Uh, I really appreciate you uh, hanging out and chatting. I'm sorry about Animal Crossing, but you know what? New day. New farm. I hope it goes really well. Keep me posted on your progress. Have a great weekend. I'll be back on Monday. Hey, thanks so much. I really appreciate that. Well, it's always great to have you here. They go by a lot faster when I've got people to chat with, so really appreciate you. Oh, that's like we just get chopped through a tree. Alright, I gotta stay alive long enough for you to get out of here so you don't see me die again. <laughs> Thanks so much. Take care. Staff of the Avatar. Okay. This is a giant ant. Hello, giant ant. Holy crap. Dude, these things slap. I forgot we have not explored any of this area, so... Maybe this will uh, take us to where we need to go next. I kind of just want to switch to a big old great sword. Mix things up for a little bit. Uh, all right, where to? Where to? There's an item up there. <laughs> Dead. 
definitely is. That's not the way to get it. All right. Nice. I don't know, Balls, if you're still uh, in the stream, but how have the uh, PvP runs been going for you? Have you had a chance to play much this week? I feel like we're at the point where fighting a lot of these uh, AI for PvE is just faster for our purposes to go ahead and just run by them. Oh, we do still have a uh, farm Azul to, to check out, so we can go there if uh, all else fails. I love great swords. Oh my, or colossal great swords. Oh my god. Poise damage. to this very helpful map we are underneath the capital somewhere so these are the roots of the now on fire tree Can't listen to this again. No, oh, no, no. <laughs> For that bad friend that's like, oh yeah, you can come talk to me anytime. They're crying, actually. There's a lot of tears. This would be a fun. 
fun area for uh, invasions. I know we've done one down here. Actually curious here. These are at plus eleven. Okay, so there's one more church that we have to find. To get to. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of death. God, not ready to die just yet. Basilisk hanging out. Oh, thank you. <laughs> As we say, even more come jumping out of trees. This is cool. More vacuum slice, okay. Not the best Ash of War. Nice. Now we can actually see where we are. Oh. Can't pull out the map just yet. Would not win in a jousting competition. For sure. Slow poke. Got him. <laughs> Alright, let's take care of our gargoyle friend here. Oh, that's right. Okay, this area is starting to look familiar. I've done some higher level uh, before I streamed on my first playthrough. Some higher level co op and an invasion up here. Starting way at the top. I hate that it automatically jumped. <laughs> oh man. Um hmm. Good as time as I need to put on our cat ring. Take two. Easy. 
enough. Gotta wait for this fire to come by. Uh oh. Souls game or something. I should have done like a death count. How many times I killed myself by just miscalculating a jump or falling off the edge of a building or cliff to actually being defeated by an enemy. Honestly, you get to a certain point where heights are, are the most dangerous thing. A pretty good XP on the uh, gargoyles, though, I must say. Okay. That's unfortunate. Chat. <laughs> We're dying a lot this stream. Not even 90 minutes in, we've died like nine times. I definitely don't play the game enough to do something like a you know no a no hit run. But it might be fun to eventually try like a, a no death run. Or just something that has uh, a fun parameter like that, the PVE. Ooh, or maybe like uh, you have to beat a boss with whatever weapon chat recommends. So, you know, it's like got to go in with your level one club and fight Melania. I don't know, that could be fun. Screw you gargoyles, you all suck. <laughs> oh my god, I suck though. Oh! <laughs> Dude, what is going on today? Uh, hey, what's up? <laughs> I don't know if you've been seeing me dying. Uh, yeah, where is Fia in this area? So I just came down here and uh, defeated the Earth Tree. And now we're starting to kind of check out the runes. This is where she moves next. Do 
dude. The lull has been has been the the stream for the last thirty minutes. <laughs> I cannot climb trees apparently. Six smithing stone. Oh my god, this whole area is a I'm safe. Oh shit. <laughs> to say what attempt this is we're just gonna we're gonna say it's the last attempt Sad, tragic god who turned into a fishman. Hey, how's it going, Nini? Thanks for coming by. Happy Friday to you as well. Hope your Friday's going well. How's your day been? Look at, the, look at that face. Ain't happy till work is over. Oof. <laughs> Fair enough. When do you uh, wrap up on Friday's balls? Oh, that's right. He's cheap. Five o'clock? Dude, we're almost there. Oh my god, you got wrecked. Guess we'll bow. <laughs> Sword. I can just voice trades with people all day. Oh, she got me the moon veil. I think he's been like growing since his death. I'm just like continuing to get mutated. I think. Could be wrong. I do like the animation on those skulls. I think those are really good. Okay, but just because I compliment the artwork doesn't mean AI you should keep spam casting them.
Yeah, he is huge. He's like, I don't understand why he looks like a fish. Yeah, he kind of is a merman, right? Yeah. <laughs> so he used to be called uh, Godwin the Golden, and he was the first god to die. Uh, did I? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And you see like his giant face down there, right? And this is the rest of his body. Dude's got a big body. Basically spanning from, uh, you know, here to there. <laughs> yeah, like, in, in response to his death, he became... It's kind of like the genesis of the death flight. What is it you intend? To deny us and our ways, like the dogmatic brutes of the Golden Order. The Purple Swamp is cool. Uh, nah, we're going Path to Chaos, so we're kind of anti-establishment right now. Yeah, I mean, I guess... Yeah, that's a good point. It kind of makes sense, though, right? Because he's... uh. He's an immortal, and the Earth tree is kind of more like a parasite than a tree, right? Or at least with the uh, the great one, or the greater will. That's yeah. Somehow it's mutated him. Uh, do I want to be held? Wait a minute. If she holds us, this is the whole thing. You are an odd one. I am the guardian of those who live in death. They call me a foul and rotten witch. Yet you still wish to be held by me. I forget, so like we get a blessing. We are just covered in blood. We're going in for a hug. Have you ever seen a hollow brand? When the first of the secret. demigods died, his flesh was marked with the half wheel wound of the centipede. Godwin's hollow brand has since been recovered at the Round Table Hall. But there is another Hallowbrand out there somewhere, and I must find it before the time comes we receive our Lord. When Godwin died, but another Exendai must before the time my hands, will you still... Now we have the HP drop. We have the blessing. Favor bestowed by the deathbed companion, prote uh, protection of a hidden temple in the guise of a bed chamber. Use it. And if we use this, it gets rid of. Gives us some poise, but it also gets rid of our HP drain. Is that right? Oh, we still have it. Now it's gone. Oh, yeah. Especially now that, uh, what, great swords do. What is it? 130. Or like 131 uh, poise damage now. So it's like if you had. Whatever the the poison limit is, great starts they they can always stagger. So if you had that, you'd be able to absorb a hit with a great sword. Just 
make it. Fix us here. Interesting. Very. Too bad. Well, yeah, you'd have to get a lot of hugs, you know. <laughs> All right. I think there's still more for us to. Explore down there. Talk to her again. We can do that. I've also got to go back. Uh, actually, speaking of the capital, I got to go back and find uh, Dung Eater's body. Oh, I'm back for another hold. It's such an awkward animation. There. When Godwin died, but another exists, and I must find it before the time. Oh, just to get the uh, the item again. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't have it yet. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta go find, uh, gotta find the rest of it. Oh, all good, all good. I appreciate you looking out. How was uh, the rest of your stream, by the way, Nini? I uh, I was watching for a bit, and then uh, my dog uh, got a little sick last night, so I had to step away. Sorry, I missed the rest of it. Oh my gosh, dude, yeah, that armor is sick, too. Like, it looks really cool. It's actually pretty good, too. The protection you get for its weight is solid. I farmed it, for sure, on uh, another build that I have. I feel like that's where arcane builds are just a little bit ahead. Because you do get better drop rates. So on top of all of your status effects, having a, a little bit more punch. You're able to find some of those rare items easier. Yeah, the poise is really good. the slow poke
What's your current uh, setup for your character balls? For armor? Do you go for uh, stats or fashion? Try to balance. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Yeah, you really have to have that uh, 81 poise, huh? Definitely seeing that. I think that's one reason I'm going to have to keep increasing my uh, equipment load for this build. Strength weapons are just so damn heavy. Hey, you got a fashion. I do like the Erd Tree armor a lot. Or Erd Tree, Crucible. Good poise to weight ratio. That's kind of a silly look. <laughs> so silly. I still think the twinned armor set that D has is one of the better looking sets in the game. I just love the colors on it. And the textures are really nice. Oh, yeah, that is a little weird. I would I agree with you. That's like the one thing that I wish was a, was different. I like the armor customization system that they've, you know, like started to work on. Granted, it's just, you know, basically whether or not you want to cape. But maybe that'll also come in DLC as they'll have the ability to make certain changes or have like much more meaningful alternative styles to the same armor set. Because like, yeah, D's armor is a great example of something that looks really, really good, but I wouldn't wear it just because that, that chest piece like from behind that looks so Dope. And the shoulder pad, the arm, and even the silver kind of like 
torso twist, and I like the two hands, but yeah, having this head. <laughs> I don't know. Nearly there. Nearly there. So when you're going fashion, what do you, uh, for PvE, what do you rock? No way! <laughs> oh, okay, I've done enough. I like summoning two randoms at the beginning and running through the area getting invaded. That's pretty fun. I feel like the low level uh, PvP is really where it's at. Like we'll get another remembrance of the Star Scourger. Both the bow and the great sword are pretty dope. Yeah, I've got a, a level 60, so off stream I've been working on, I think I, I mentioned this to you earlier, Balls, I've been working on a Blasphemous Blade. Yes. Very good. Uh, but I've been working on a Dex uh, Intelligence build for a low level PvP. And that's been super fun. This is a big old bear, isn't it? Well, it's a big old bear that doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> We're getting turned into a little cub. <laughs> Look at these bears. I've got a couple of weapons that I'm leveling up for the build right now. I've got uh, Moon Veil for PvE, just to get through stuff at such a low level. I, uh, I've i done a couple of low level invasions where I bust out the Moon Veil, but only if the other person is cheesing it. Um, I've got the Uchi Katana. Uh, God, it used to be called the Washing Pole in other Souls games. I forget what it's called. The Long Katana. And then I'm dual wielding uh, St. Trina's Blades. The uh, short swords that uh, put people to sleep. And then I'm carrying a couple of sleeping arrows as well. Focusing on more invasion, so the build will be uh, catered towards fighting uh, you know, 2v1 or 3v1 scenarios. And the intelligence is just enough, uh, not for spell casting, just so that uh, cold and magic infused weapons have a little bit more punch. Primary stats are going to be health, obviously. For such a low level build. 
and we'll get our damage from upgrading the weapon. But yeah, any thoughts on it for sure would welcome feedback or suggestions. I also really want to make a. <laughs> this would be kind of a troll, um, but I do think it would be fun to make a, a pot build, just invade people and run around tossing. Pots. You can actually do some pretty decent damage, uh, with the right talismans and uh, helmet equipped. And I just think it'd be really fun to stream. Alright, what have we missed in this area? Pick down the mausoleum. Just a couple of items here and there. We might have, uh, that might be a wrap on this area. Hmm, we haven't checked, uh, by the waterfall at the top. Sure, there's something we've missed knowing this game. Hold on, my puppy just woke up. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, we're back. Yes, more basilisks. I can't think of anything else that we might be missing, right? So, oh. I just swear to God, this area. Always on your toes. Okay. All right, now, well, no, still can't check the map.
Okay. Do do do. Fought the Ur tree. Guardian came up. Caught up with Thea. Gave her a hug. That's it. Uh, and now we need to go. <laughs> oh, what a statement I'm about to make. Now we need to go find Dung Eater. And uh, uh, defile his body. Because he asked us to. And we haven't done the quest line. Memory serves, this is the right way. Such a gross quest. Well, the hands are gone. I don't know how I feel about this. Okay. Don't make it any weirder than it needs to be, Dung Eater. Off the rocket start. Alright, buddy. Ooh, I've never seen this before. Alright. I feel like he's just gonna go crazy. We're crazy here. Golden order. Okie dokie. That was weird. <laughs> the first time I uh, met him, we just killed him. Kind of regretting not doing that, but I want to see where the quest goes. I haven't done it before. Hey, what's up, Colossal Games? Uh, thanks for coming by. Uh, I'm playing on PC right now. What uh, system do you play on? Um, gotta kill these rats. We're uh, just wrapping up a couple of quest lines. Uh, set the Ur tree on fire, and uh, now we're checking in to see if there's anything that we have missed. Oh, Aztel. You know, I haven't fought him yet in this uh, playthrough. He, uh... He's a, he's a tough one. <laughs> he's a tough one. Is this your uh, first playthrough?
I'm on my uh, second right now. Hey, <laughs> what's up, Nini? Yeah, we got some new drip. You know, we're trying to mix it up. Uh, not sure how I feel about it, but, you know, we, we got some new armor, so we're just testing it out. Oh, thank you, thank you. Technically, you're fifth. Oh, right on. I haven't beaten the game yet. I feel that. Doing a couple of different builds and figuring it out. Is uh, Elden Ring your first Souls game? Nice. I got into the franchise back in Dark Souls 1, so I've been, been playing for a while, usually on Xbox. This is my first time playing one of the games on uh, PC. It's been really fun. Welcome to the Soulsborne community. It's an interesting one. <laughs> and Nini, I'm trying to go for like a kind of like a, a little bit of a Greco Roman knight look. So I think we're getting there. I feel like the helmet is pretty nice. What's your uh, build, Colossal Games, for uh, your current uh, current run and fighting with uh, Astel? Magma Knight? That's sick. That is cool. That will definitely pass the uh, drip the drip test. You like the chest armor? Yeah, I like it too. It's a so we we just got excuse me we just got it. Um, so I like I like it a lot. I don't want to find. I mean, I am biased to this helmet just because of how ridiculous it is. I mean, look at that. <laughs> it's just awesome and how silly it is. But. It uh, probably doesn't pass the drip test. If we're out in the sun, maybe we'll we'll wear the big hat. Flintstone crown, crucible tree armor, Briargrant and Sin Radon's Breeze. Ooh. That's pretty dope. I like that. Looking along the lines of prior gauntlets. Oh, that's dope. I like that. Definitely fits the vibe you're going for. I like the chain link armor too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, I know the one you're talking about. Good one. <laughs> Nina, you laughing at my drip. We take ourselves very seriously here. <laughs> Uh, 
That's a great, uh, that's a great setup you got there, Colossal. Uh, you know, let's craft a couple of fire pots real quick. Always good to have a few on hand. Oh, I'm going to have to do some farming for dragonfly heads, huh? Great stars of the eruption ash and the Gelmir staff. Ooh. Nice. You're, di you're dishing out some serious damage. So I take it you're uh, heavily investing in uh, intelligence then. Item required ahead. Shoot. I left that. Be wary of liar. <laughs> ah, equal strength, intelligence, and faith. Nice. A lot of the messages are uh, unhelpful. Rolling required ahead. Yeah, sure. Here's... Oh my gosh. Hey. You see these doors here, guys? I think this is where we're supposed to go. <laughs> oh, man. Nice. Strength, intelligence, faith. Very balanced build. What's, uh, what level are you? I like the idea of models of having all the different messages and being able to rate them, but I feel like if you get to a certain threshold of a low rating, like, the message should just be blocked. I don't know. About 20 more levels into bigger. Currently, uh, 107. Nice. <laughs> Dude, the number of times that's happened to me, yeah. No. Ooh, 31 bigger. That's one of the first stats that I level up typically is bigger. Yeah, I think getting it up to 50, around 50 or higher is a solid, very solid choice. For us, we went uh, 60 Vigor and then started to apply Strength and Endurance. Initially got our stats just high enough so that we could wield the uh, Claymore. Or how about when, uh, speaking of messages or when things get in the way, how about when the black banner message appears? You know, it's like you're being invaded or someone's a prize, you know, approved your message or a door is opened and you have to like click uh, through it in order to use the same action key. So like I've been trying to climb up a ladder and I can't because I have this black banner. Ugh. Kills me. Yeah, exactly. I, yep, I died uh, several times that early on, being like, what the F is going on? <laughs> like, I can't roll through anything. And then with uh, 37 strength, 34 int, 32 faith. Nice.
getting pelted by rocks. Oh, these things. <laughs> For real. For like thinking that I was DCing or something, you know? What the hell's going on? I just want to roll. Roll left. Roll left. Nope. And then trying to explain to your buddy the reason why you died was because the game wasn't working. And then you realize you just didn't know how to play the game. <laughs> yeah. It would be uh, nice if there's a certain, right, some items or areas that you could interact with had the little either override or protection area so you just couldn't leave a message that close to the ladder. The trolls, exactly. Oh, hang on. Getting a little too cavalier with our health here. Hey, hey, thanks so much for the follow, Colossal Games. I appreciate it, man. Welcome, welcome. I uh, stream Monday through Friday, usually 1 to 5 or 1.30 to 5.30 every day. Sometimes I go a little bit longer or I start a little bit earlier, but yeah, it's been my schedule so far. Uh, Pacific time. Yeah. Good question. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, I mostly play Elden Ring, at least I have been so far, and then uh, I mix it up every now, now and then with a uh, first-person shooter called Hunt Showdown. That's uh, a really fun game. When uh, when Elden Ring is too much and I need to I need to take it easy with some chill, chiller vibes, we listen to Lo-Fi and uh, do some PvP PVE first-person shooters. Okay, right on. Usually it's CQ. <laughs> I like catch it up on chat. <laughs> I would be devastated if I were to load into EFT one day, Nini, and come across you and you were trolling me. I feel like you've got the game knowledge, though, to pull it off. I would have no idea what was going on. Uh, let's pull up the map here. Is someone there? A customer? Well, how long has it been? Purchase! Yeah, we might as well just clear, clear him out. Call me a sweat in that game now. Uh, I'm not surprised, Nini. I was checking out your YouTube videos. Uh, I remember when you first followed and I was playing EFT doing pistol runs on the new wipe and we were chatting and now I see those uh those videos and I'm like if I were to ever run into you in EFT I would get annihilated I would just if I heard you in VoIP I'd be like ah, I'm good I'm gonna turn around an extra 
Well, I guess I know you, so I would, I would, hopefully we could figure something out, but. <laughs> You've gotten really good. You are definitely a classification sweat in EFT. Not gonna lie, me. <laughs> I think, uh, Balls, it's, you gotta have the troll come out every now and then. A friend of mine who I play this game a lot with before I streamed would say, hey man, if you could do it in the game, then that's part of how the game is meant to be played. He was the ultimate troll. He was like, hey, if it's a mechanic, it ain't cheese. So, <laughs> we definitely got up to quite a few, uh, shenanigans. Don't VoIP. <laughs> That's fair. I don't trust anyone in EFT either, especially if they're random. Oh, uh, electronic. <laughs> no, although those are a great way to diversify your portfolio. Uh, <laughs> so um, EFT is called Escape from Tarkov. So if you are into super competitive, high fidelity shooters, Escape from Tarkov, it's really good. I will warn you though, it takes over your life. It is such a fun game, but it is challenging, it is brutal. There are days where you will absolutely question your choices. Yeah, first person shooter. It's really fun. It's really, really, really fun. And if you're curious about some of the quest lines or just some of the content, uh, Nini uh, has done a lot of really good videos on YouTube, so you can check her out. YouTube, Nini Nader. And uh, she's got some great videos and shorts on the game. It's the type of game where when you pull off a good raid, you feel incredible. Like, it feels really rewarding. And, uh, yeah, it's PvP and PvE. So there's AI. Um, you basically play in a, a fictional city called Tarkov. That's kind of become like a, a demilitarized zone. So there are private mercenaries and remnants of, I think, they're Russian government or Russian military. So you can play as those two factions. Uh, there are these uh, Western mercenaries called um, PMCs or you could be the bears who are like the remnants of the Russian special forces out there and then you fight what are called scavs or basically people who are living in the demilitarized zone trying to scrape by and survive uh, and you have to go into a raid and you loot and you have to get out with you know ammo gun parts quest items and it's a really, really, really complicated system. Yeah, think Destiny, but with like hunger and food and water, uh, weight limitations, like very, very nuanced. It's quite fun. Also, hello, Dragon Skin. Or Dragon Kin. Okay. BRB chat. But yeah, it's a it's a really good game. And it takes over your life. <laughs> I might come back to it, uh, Nini, uh, when the new wipe takes place over the summer, uh, winter. And, uh, if you are interested in streaming together or Sherpy, uh, being a Sherpa, I could definitely use some help. <laughs> I feel like you are the absolute pro. This is a beautiful fight. The lightning animation and the colors. All right, goodbye, sir. Oh, frostbite, hang on. Let me give you a little slow poke and a follow up. There you go.
Sweet. I've actually never done that boss fight before. I just got the achievement for it. That's crazy. Not, e not even close to sure of a level. You are being too humble. Uh, give me one second here, folks. I'm going to check on my pup. I'll be right back. Oh, all right, we are back. Are we kidding? <laughs> oh, the dog's very fancy. Uh, yeah, I'm just checking in on our pup. She had like a uh, little bit of a a tummy ache yesterday, and wasn't doing so well. But she's doing much better today, so just checking in on her. Oh, you got your dog groomed. Nice. A pink bun. <laughs> yeah, what kind of dog? I'm sure he looked fabulous. Oh, beautiful dog. When I was growing up, there was a family uh, in my neighborhood that had a Shiba Inu. Really sweet dogs. Oh, do they really?
He's more of a people person. My dog uh, will sit on the sidewalk and make me say hi to other dogs. We've been... Yeah, I took Marlo to the dog park uh, a couple days ago, and she just swam and got super dirty. <laughs> Wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, they can be real hit or miss. My, uh, actually, my dog got, did get attacked once at a dog park. That was pretty rough. She's recovered from it and is totally fine now, but the owner was not great about the whole thing. <laughs> it was actually, you know what's crazy is it was a, a Great Dane, which is nuts. Like, they're usually incredibly sweet dogs. But uh, this one was really aggressive. Like, I saw it get in a fight with another dog before it, it uh, bit my dog. Um, Yeah, it was just like a very, very aggressive animal. Uh, it was really sad too, because the you could tell like the owner just had no clue how to handle. I wonder if I'm missing something. Had no clue how to handle his dog, and was just like not very kind to it. So I think that was why the dog was so aggressive. And yeah, bit my dog, and I had to get in there. And then the guy grabbed his dog and like ran off. But I didn't know that he was running away. I was like checking on my dog because I, I knew that she got bit. So I was checking her to see, you know, how bad it was. And uh, when I looked up to, you know, confront the owner, he was gone. I was like, what the heck? And then this lady came up to me and was like, hey, like, is your dog OK? And I was like, no, like she's been bitten and like I got to take her to the vet. But like, where'd the guy go? And she points at this truck and the guy had like gotten the car loaded up his dog and was just driving off. I was just like, well, I think this is the last time I come to that dog park. So. But. Marlo recovered and it all worked out. What's your uh, Chiba's name? Uma. That's a great name. Is that from anything? Or did you just come up with Booma? Man, I've been running in circles. I need to go the other way. I need to go this way. <laughs> Nini asking the real questions. Okay, we now need to get up there and fight that guy. Oh, 
Okay, right on. Black and white. Sounds very cute. How old is Booma? Gotta be away over here. Oh, there we go. Do I? Sounds so cute. Eleven, all. My pup. I mean, I call her a pup, but she's about to turn uh, seven next month. Oh, that's not the way. Oh yeah, I I totally call those eyebrows. Marlo has uh caramel eyebrows. Little spots above her eyes. Okay, there's gotta be there's a better way to do this. out here make a left oh yeah okay <laughs> i think i think i found it yeah hey man your uh knowledge of the layout for these levels is very impressive those items. I'm going to be greedy. That's fair. Yeah, I feel like having good uh, map knowledge is pretty key here. All right, I'm just going to start with this. A little bit of a head massage. Oh, 
not the most exciting way to uh, beat a boss, or not a boss, but to kill an enemy, but effective. And argue with the results. Uh, okay, so let's see. We went up here, killed that guy. Ooh, there's an item up there. Okay. How do we get said item? Down is the way we came. Doesn't look like there's anywhere further. No ladder. There's something around here. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Time for revenge. Be very anticlimactic. Maybe ah. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Back around. I wonder. Rather than dropping down, maybe take out that creature. Could we keep going up? Maybe. I'll go back to investigate. Excuse me, gentlemen. Nothing to see here. Okay, let's see. No. Um, oh, rip. <laughs> I guess that answers what we're going to do next. Weird. All right, let's take a look at the map here. So, come around. We've got the palace runes, river depths. Can't be everything. Uh, there we go. There we go. That looks like a pathway. Ooh, have we been this way? So it looks like maybe. This is another pathway to get up. That's the downstream we were just at. Kill the dragon seeds. Uh, I think. So lost. Yeah. 
<laughs> Sometimes, uh... Sometimes the level design... Oh, right. That's right. This isn't going to take us anywhere, because those are just waterfalls. Um, okay, so waterfalls, that's not going to help us out. Out this way, around, go back, gotta go further. I want to say further back. The river, okay. Well, we've been down there. That takes us that way. Let's try double backing. And I think, I don't know if uh, Colossal is still here, but I know this is where Estel is. Somewhere down here. <laughs> We're gonna find him. Okay, we checked that out, got that item. I think this is a dead end. Yeah. <laughs> it really is, yeah. With the, how massive the ants are and like the statues. You feel so dwarf. That's also very in line with like the artwork and style of Miyazaki's games. Like you always play someone who's just Small. You're always smaller than everyone else. Okay, our brilliant plan. Double back. Might not be so brilliant. Let's kill this guy so we can use our map. Okay, so that's a waterfall. I wonder if we have to enter from just like a different. A different area altogether. Because this is walled off. That's a waterfall. I mean, we're not going to survive that that jump. And then we have no bonfires or indicators over here. Missing something. We actually haven't even haven't been there yet. Uh, unless we're missing something in this area. That brings us down. Two ways of getting up there. Does one involve writing a coffin? <laughs> What, uh, what are the two ways? Right ants? Okay, hang on. Let's see if we can ride an ant. Come here. 
Okay, hang on. We don't we don't need two ants. We just need one ant to ride. Oh, well, now we've got three. Come here. I don't think they want to be domesticated. Oh, the the teleporter. Run his rise. And then coffin, yeah. Okay. Down in the deep root. That's right. Man, this area, there are just so many areas. <laughs> that's how they, uh, that's how they charm the snake or the snakes, the ants, right? It did look very good in the movie. And then wasn't there also like giant marshmallow in the movie? I'm trying to remember. Oh, we got the Snow Witch drip. I'm here for it. Cheerios. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. Part of the filling and then the Cheerios. Yeah. Teleport. Okay. Okay, we found Ronnie as a doll. And there's the coffin. Thank you for the tip, balls. Man, I feel like it'd be very easy to take a lot of <laughs> statements that I make towards balls if clipped out of context, could get me in a lot of trouble. Balls is great. Don't know what I do without balls. <laughs> the internet does indeed. Firepot. Firepot again.
This thing is absolutely creepy to have, like, right at head level. It's a very weird fight, yeah. Hey, we've made it. We are one level higher. Sword stone key, perfect. Always need more of those. Ooh. Want the item. Playman, nice. Yeah, I, I'm not really sure. Like, those enemies aren't very tough, and yet, oh, 7,000 XP. But once we get to fighting, that's a, it'll be a lot harder. Do you typically, uh, do you typically two hand or one hand your weapons, uh, balls? If they're strength, like, do you go for the power stance and just dual wield great swords, or like for a colossal, will you just go for a two hander? Yeah, power stance seems to be the way to go. Oh, just got caked. Yeah, you fast weapons. Yeah. I feel like that's why curved swords, short swords, and then a lot of thrusting weapons are very popular in PvP. I mean, hey, like, you know, dual spears are awesome. Great range, good poke. Try this again, hopefully with a better result. No. Oh. Got that right in the face. Cross platform. That'd be interesting. I mean, because everyone uses controller anyway, so there's no like debate over mouse and keyboard versus controller. This is really not a game where someone should be using mouse and keyboard. I wonder if the frames, though, 
Well, I don't know. I don't think having, you know, 60 frames on console locked versus 120 is really going to make... Uh, it might make a difference for parrying. Yeah, exactly. There's no aim assist, so it, like, neutralizes that whole uh, argument and gripe that people have. Why do I feel like I should have kept going? Did we explore that fully? I don't think we did. Yeah, there's no aim assist. Oh, no, we did. That was the portal that brought us in. Oh, goodness gracious, you silly man. All right. That's okay. We need to get more steps in. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just think frames might come into play for not really dodging, but parrying. But people don't really parry that much in this game. It's like, very rare. I saw it more in Dark Souls 3 than I have in Elden Ring. I think part of that has to do with Ashes of War now. Because someone could have, you know, it's like you're better off rather than trying to risk parry. Focus on your dodging and spacing and then use your Ashes of War to catch people off guard and me mess with their timing than it is to quick swap to, uh, you know, shield and try and get the parry. There's also just so many, so many more Ashes of War that you can't parry anyway. So, yeah, I think you're, yeah. Oh, I can see cross-platform being fun. I think it would work out well. Oh, and that's how we get up there, is through that little... Uh, I guess we can go back and check it out real quick. Well, let me see if there's a bonfire nearby real quick. Yeah, let's snag that bonfire. Grab these items and continue to explore uh, Norkin or Norcon. Ork. Oh, these guys. Got no time for their skull duggery. Oh. Don't say it. Don't say it. What is that item? <laughs> Food cooking time? Nice. 
Well, thanks for stopping by, Nini. Really appreciate it. As always, great to have you here. Have a great weekend. I'll let you know about those uh, butter tarts. I'll make some this weekend. Probably some folks over, so they should be uh, should be perfect. And yeah, thanks for the lurk. Take care. I just want this item. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> Take care. I mean, this is just sad. This is just sad to watch. <laughs> just want to pillage your remains. All right. Maybe it's further on. I don't know. We can move on. I'll have to live with it. It's going to be sadder when you figure out how to get up there. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, really? Is it? Wait, was I right the first time? Do you actually just jump off and around? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This way? Wait, but I thought... Unless I'm getting turned around here. Oh my goodness gracious. No, so I had it... You're right. It is sadder. It's much sadder. All that for a somber smithy stone. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, hey, we'll uh, we'll put it to good use, but. All right, we'll take that, though. Good Lord. Thank you, balls. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. Gotta redeem ourselves here. So when I first dropped down, I thought I dropped too far down. So I teleported back to the bonfire and then retried. Can't believe it. Overthought it. And skull plate, all right. out well enough.
All right, we're inching our way closer. I do love the aesthetic for this entire area. I knew it. <laughs> gotcha, okay. Weaker behind the plate mask. I've totally been invaded in this area before. There's that message thing again. I was wondering, I was like, what? What's going on? I feel like it really should not prevent you from being able to take any action. Nice. Okay, check around the sides for any more items. Nothing. Back we go. the door closed behind it like somehow it was able to close doors straightforward enough nice okay marvel tier wow that was a really good room So stuck. Kind of sets off a chain reaction.
in a pinch, that could be not a very efficient, but an, a one way to XP farm. Might as well just use this now. Ooh, I can get you from behind. I was not expecting the Zweihander to have that kind of reach. Nope. Okay. Uh, let's see. Increases memory slots. Don't really need it, but good to have. Stick with our current setup. Okay. Get most of this uh, area. Unless there's a side tube. Elevator going down. Let's take it. I'll dump us off down here. Okay. Still no horse. Yeah, that has been a little surprising. The inability to summon a uh, torrent down here is a little baffling. This area is huge. Oh, Nini left it just the <laughs> just a moment too soon. There's a monk riding an ant. awesome. Yeah, same mechanics as riding a horse. That's fun. Dismount and everything. Centipedes.
Oh, yeah, right? That is weird. They were in the, uh... We just got it, right? Oh, that's the prisoner mask. This guy. Arcane to the detriment of physical attack power. Yeah, probably not quite what we want for our build, but... I actually do think it looks it looks pretty cool. Wait, what's the uh do you have any lore here? Mass fashion from the corpse of Formless Silver Tear. Huh. It's interesting that it actually grants you Pretty decent boys. Oh, yeah, for four, four pounds, that's pretty good. So, yeah, arcane attack power to the detriment of uh, physical. Not quite what we're uh, after. Really? Is that why the ant has, like, uh, glowing eyes? Like, they're kind of purple? Being mind-controlled? Interesting. That's a cool detail. So how have you learned uh, so much lore? Uh, is it just through uh, watching YouTube videos? Yeah. I checked out... Um, gosh, if I could say the name right. Vita Vita Vita, uh, the channel that you were talking about in chat the other day. Really good stuff. I'd seen like a couple of uh, his stuff for Dark Souls. Really good stuff for Elden Ring. Definitely helps me understand what's going on. Alright, let's go ahead. Uh, that elevator, see where it takes us. Bati Vidya, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He has a great voice for narration. Get our endurance up a hair. <laughs> so I fight back the hiccups. Zuli the witch. Ooh, okay. I haven't heard of Zuli. I'll have to check her out. Put them out. Oh man, I should totally upgrade this old sword to plus 18. I 
How is the uh, Banish Knight's greatsword? As far as its moveset. Doesn't have the poke. That our Claymore has, but. the death. And here we go. Oh, you know what? I think we... Shoot. We freed... I think we still have to talk to Blythe one more time. Before we can fight him. Yeah, we totally have to talk to him. He's probably chilling at uh, Ronnie's tower. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by, Balls. I really appreciate it, man. As always, uh, for the good the good times as well as the sad times. Seeing me struggle to grab an item. <laughs> no, but for real, man. Really appreciate you coming by. You have a great weekend. I'm jealous that you're getting your drink on. Probably going to do the same here in about a half hour. So, <laughs> have a great one, man. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, Blythe. Where do you go? Interesting. Uh, maybe I've got to talk to Ronnie's doll again. As we get to all that, I do want to level up our blade.
survive for freedom now. I smith weapons to slay a god, and I have lived and will die doing so upon this spot. Is there any other way? Is there? Just a little intense. Uh, I do want to hold off on using our Pith and Stone weapon. Uh, the ornamental street sword is pretty good. I do wonder. Ooh, we'll go check on uh, our friend down below. In this ash, I can smell the ancient storm. It reminds me of my first talk. In this ash, it reminds me of my... Hmm. Maybe not enough time has passed. Let's see. I do wonder for our build. I know we don't have the don't intelligence. No new equipment. I know we don't have the intelligence. Intelligence for Radon's sword. Ooh, it would be six levels. Eh, that's I mean, it is something to consider. Because we are doing uh, a lot of cold, a lot of cold build stuff, which does net us a C in intelligence for a lot of the weapons we're using. So I'm curious if adding a couple of levels would make much of a difference. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. Um, spear tuning. I am very curious to see what Jaw Wright actually is, uh, is like. Anger Maiden Early. Go ahead and consume a little bit of XP. I see. Oh my god, I didn't realize we had so many, uh... Great ghost, uh... Ghost Glowport. 
Alright, uh, I feel pretty good about that. Maybe talk one more time to the doll to see if we can elicit a response. my tongue. I've let slip too much. Forget what thou's heard. Forget. Ah. I've let forget. Okay, but where? Okay, so then we continue forward. Fighting uh, the cameras half the battle here, no more. There he is. The darling boy. Oh, Shadow. Thou art the last. Tell the two fingers that Rani the Witch cometh to rend thy flesh with a fateful wound, ne'er to heal. Got it. I'm sorry, Blythe. Oh, hey. All right, well, we're drinking. Sorry, old friend. So sad. Let's see. 
then we've got to cross. Ah, uh, the lake. Oh my. That's a lot of rot. Uh, let us talk to EG and then life. And then I might uh, close out here with a couple of PvP runs. We shall see. Hello, EG. Greetings, my fellow. How can I help? Lady Rani has departed along the dark path of him. Now, Lady Rani, I pray that you... Lady Rani, along the... Now, Lady, hmm. I pray that you... Yeah, that was weird to say. Sword is just so big. Huh, okay. Maybe we can't talk to him just yet. For like a little, uh, a little more story, but wait, it's a bit longer. Than that. All right, let's uh, got ten thousand in the tank. Yeah, let's uh, do a little PvP. If we can. Very good. All right. I like the heavy rolling. Oh, okay, now they're light rolling. Hey, what's up, Cuttlefish? Thanks for coming by. How's your Friday going? Uh, yes, that was a 1v3. Um, 
when you invade, you're usually fighting against other people. Uh, who are, like, usually it's like, sometimes it's one-on-one, -on -one, but usually it's 2v2, or sorry, 2v1 or 1v2. Oh. Had a terrifying, yeah, the sleep rose. Um, yeah, also, the game just crashed. This has happened a couple of times. Uh, while invading. It's like my invasion crashes the game. <laughs> but all good, all good. Let's see if we can uh, get back in. Aha, we're back. We crashed the other day and I uh, I wasn't able to log back on for a couple hours. So I just ended up changing streams. Uh, but your day's busy but good. That's good. Busy's always nice for Friday. Hopefully not too, uh, too stressful, too crazy. Good busy. Oh, nice. The big slim dogs. <laughs> All right, let's go find the big slim dogs. Still finishing up code change. Like sign up. Nice. Get to your weekend. That sounds awesome. You're almost there. You can do it. Hard-boiled crap. Dang it. I thought maybe he wanted to fight. I should have just rushed. Also head to the arena, I guess, and do some. Maybe we'll do that. Keep practicing our uh, combat skills. Uh, do you have any plans for the weekend that you're excited about? I'll try one more invasion. Oh, that's awesome. Well, that'll be fun. Nice. New things to try on, always fun. Are these for uh, like fall season or upcoming event or just cuz? There's so many. Oh, very exciting. Brad's made. Nice. That's super fun. I feel like, uh, hello, friend. Hey! Do you want to hop right into it or do you want to buff? What do you think, buddy? He wants to buff. Okay. I like that, uh, bridesmaids have such versatility in what they can wear, like so many different dress styles. I feel like.
shocked that that got as much off of me as it did. Um, yeah, it is nice. Good fight, so good fight. How come the other guy is red this time? Uh, because that time I summoned them as a duelist, so we were just engaged in a little one-on-one uh, -on -one fight. Oh, thanks. So, yeah, it's a little bit more casual. I'm going to go ahead and rest, get our health back. Yeah, that's cool. There's a lot of variety. Like groomsmen. I mean, it depends on the groom, but you're usually wearing your suit and uh, you don't get too much say in the color or the cut of the suit. Yeah, some of this guy looks like a knight. What a concept, summoning a challenger when you're born. <laughs> Imagine if we did that in real life. Yeah, I don't know if I would do it in real life. Uh, that would be a very terrifying reality. Like talking to a colleague and you're like, hey, what are you going to do later tonight? They're like, oh, you know, probably just beat the shit out of somebody. <laughs> but, uh, all right, cool. I just want to go straight into it. Let's do it. Disappointed that they're getting that hit off. Well, folks, we might not be coming back from this one. Yeah. GG's. Good fight, sir. Pretty solid combo. Great sword and then something to poke and follow up with. We should try to get the 81 boys. I like these bracelets, though. Huh. Trying to see uh, what might be like some fun. <laughs> Armor combos.
We're not quite there for the truth. I mean, if we swap out for the Claymores. Oh god, everything's gotta be. Yeah, let's try it. Oh, he has a very similar drip that we were just going for. I like it. Oh! Man, okay. I'd say he won that exchange. <laughs> oh, he almost got that. That would have been gnarly. His axe is ridiculous. I know, it's so large. Jeez, that was a very good fight. <laughs> Thanks, Cuttlefish. Appreciate it. What do you think of our uh, armor? Kind of ridiculous, right? I'm sort of in love. I mean, this is more ridiculous, but it's too ridiculous. This is the helmet of a man who takes himself way too seriously. Yeah, right? Yeah, we have a metallic beard. Oh, wait, why did that? Should have uh, arrested before summoning this guy. But that's okay. So fancy. <laughs> yeah, the breastplate's pretty cool. I like the curled toes. We have curled feet. Hey! Hey! Got me out of the sky. Oh, and he poised me. Oh boy. Folks. Yeah. Good fight. He kind of dominated. Guy's terrifying. Yeah, very aggressive and just casting a. Uh, incantation that's mm, annoying.
feel like that's uh, an ability I've got to learn to counter better. But yeah, very, very aggressive build. We did a good job. Uh, let's see here. Do another one. Whips. Interesting. Hey. <laughs> Duelist M. Our little pokey poke is not the best. A little weird desync. a couple of wins under our belt here um we're just over the four hour mark so i think that's gonna go ahead and end it for today's stream uh thanks everyone who came by again the belden meyer and colossal games tv thank you guys so much for the follow really appreciate it um nini ash cuttlefish and uh balls thanks you guys so much for coming by hanging out in the chat and having a good time really appreciate it i'll be back on monday uh, we'll probably do some more Elden Ring to kick off uh, the new week. Looking forward to hanging out with you guys, and as always, I will see you soon. Hey. Take care.